Welcome to another edition of Don't Miss This for Online Seminary. This next week is going to be a good one because we're going to be right into some fantastic things with Philippians and Colossians. So let's start off with a couple of things. Um, let's go right to Canvas. Let me share my screen. And let's look at the way that Canvas is designed for this week. So putting up my modules for this next week, going to Philippians and Colossians. A um, couple really interesting things to just look at. First of all, class community. This is, once again, if your students are really interested in having an experience where they're uh, having a good community, they're probably using this well. If they're not trained or if they're not comfortable, this isn't really, really good questions to get students going. So have, have the, the, the uh, I don't know, I'd change it around a little bit, but personally what I would do is if I, if I have a class president, this is, this is gonna be their page. And I'm gonna invite my class president to be able to come up with ideas or questions to be able to uh, get the class going, or maybe even some activities or some traditions you'd like to start in your class. Um, as you look back, let me go back to modules, just to see the format for this week. We've got um, an assignment with Philippians and a discussion with Philippians 3, assignment with Philippians 4, and a discussion with Colossians, and then a doctoral master review. So if you look at just the content for this week, Philippians um, and Colossians, it, this is just fun. I don't really like that this is an assignment, to be completely honest with you, because I had a really good experience with FSY this week. Uh, I can do all things with in Christ is a really good theme. And most of our students, probably about half and half, have had an FSY this year. All of them have been talking about this theme throughout their young men, young women experience. So to me, this might be a better one to actually change to a discussion. And you can edit and create a discussion, pull in the content here that's uh, the same content we want them to study and go through. But I would definitely add the discussion of what did they learn? We're in October now, so they've had a whole lot of conversations. If they've been for a week-long discussion or experience with FSY, this was the focus. I also like this because this really kicks off the rest of the week because you're going to be talking right about, hey, you can do all things with Christ. But that's going to be a little bit about sacrifice, and it's going to need us to be able to uh, sacrifice our time and our talents to do some things for the Savior. You're going to want to recognize that as you are trying to do all things in Christ, you're going to be able to feel peace. And then finally this week, we're going to have the, this grand discussion about there is strength in doing all things in Christ. I love how Paul is teaching this to the Philippians and Colossians. I believe the Philippians and Colossians are going through a lot of the same things that we are going through it for the youth and young adults in this day. And for us as adults, there's some fantastic power in these scriptures. So I would love to have a conversation with my youth about this. Uh, I think the assignment is good, but it's going to be really um, low level learning in terms of they're just going to read and write some, some short answers. Uh, let's pull some more stuff out of them if you can. Uh, once again, that's totally up to you. I mean, they're really good questions, but this is a fun topic to talk about. The next one that we have then is uh, this concept about, it's really focusing about sacrifice. What have, what have you had to give up to be able to have the experience of, of serving the Lord? Um, it's a discussion. I think there, there's some really good things to talk about here. Uh, I think that for our youth here in the Southeast area, there are going to be experiences that our youth have gone through where they've had to make a choice to be able to follow Jesus Christ and his church. Um, they've had to step up or to give up time, or in, in many cases, they've had to change schedules to be able to accomplish some things. Uh, traveled hours to get to temples for many of us. So this would be a really good conversation to be able to have. And I think that it's it's wise that it's a discussion page. Uh, the next one uh, that we've got, uh, it's another assignment base, um, as soon as it'll pull up. With, with Philippians, I love, we're going to start talking about peace and joy in Christ. 
And this is kind of neat because if you start to look at what the Philippians are being taught, um, there's a lot of concern for the youth that there, there's so many things going on, uh, a lot of frustration and worry and, and questions. And it really matches to what Paul's teaching here in Philippians. We have the ability to be able to have this peace and joy come as we live the gospel. So I would definitely want to have some mileage on, on the doctrines and principles in this page. Um, there may be some individuals in your class that need this assignment more than ever or meet, need these doctrines more than ever. So prayerfully, I would encourage you to prayerfully think of your, your class. I hope that you've been able to come to know them and get to know them a little bit and maybe send some individual messages in the inbox to some students about things that you've learned about these doctrines and principles. Minister more than ever with this verse, with these verses and doctrine. And then once uh, we get into Thursday's uh, material, it's going to be another discussion uh, where we're going to really focus on the strength in Jesus Christ. And I love this, this section of Colossians because this is it really is, um, you're going to build your strength in this route. There's a fantastic video that that you could use for this one um, about withstanding the forces that uproot. You've got Elder Anderson's talk with this. This is a really good one. And I like how if it really kind of ends the week. So we start the week with, I can do all things in Christ. And then you're going to end it with, he is my strength. Um, and I just want to just quickly just testify. I know that's true. I love that. I love the reality that Jesus Christ is going to be able to strengthen us to be able to do some fun things. So a um, couple hints or some tricks of the trade that I, I would recommend. The first of which is uh, get to know some of the materials with that. I can do all things in Christ. If you go down on this page, so it's just the theme page. Uh, for this year. As you go down, though, you've got the music and stuff. This is what I would recommend you spend some time in. Um, what the, the church social media is doing is they're actually going to uh, highlight examples of people. Um, and so you've got some really good visuals. But if you just go to that social media page um, and, and search some of the things that are in there, you're going to be able to find some really applicable experiences of youth and what they're doing to be able to do all things in Christ and to be able to be strengthened by him and by listening to living prophets and apostles. I would find ways to tie this as much as you can to application. Discover how they can use this. Please don't let it be a box to check that they just went through the material. Let's figure out how this can become eternal, internalized. So a couple tricks that I want to talk about um, when it comes to your Zoom experience, a lot of you have been asking some really fantastic questions about, is there anything else I can do to be able to make Zoom a little bit more fun? And the truth of that is, yes. In fact, let me share my screen again. I'm going to share just a couple ideas that you could look at um, that I'm going to show you where to, where to find them. So I'm going to just Google search uh, games to play in Zoom. Now, I'm not a big, big Zoom um, game playing activity, mainly because I teach Institute. But I do think there are some really good times when you can break it up with some activities. And so as you go through, uh, there's some really fun things to look at. I would just look at some of these teaching sites that give some ideas. Um, obviously, a lot of them are going to be elementary focused, but you can find some really fun things that could have um, some significant ideas that could work for you now. Um, some of them are third. If it's a third party app, I'd, I'd avoid it. But some things like um, getting your students out of their seats and doing things, just ideas that are here, they're fantastic. It gives you a chance to be able to get them up and moving. Uh, one thing that I've done in Institute is I've asked when, when they are describing Jesus Christ uh, in my mission prep classes, I said, okay, you've got five minutes. I want you to anywhere in your room that you're in right now, I want you to find one thing uh, that testifies of Christ. Go. And they had to find something and be like, this testifies of Christ. It's a, a, a zip drive or a, a thumb drive. 
And I have to now think of what in the world is this going to be that testify of Christ? The reason why this is a really fun was is it breaks it up, gets them out of their seat, gets them going, but it also gives them a chance to to have a little bit of a of a cognitive experience where they're thinking deeper to understand how I can apply the content and information that I'm talking about and be able to explain it to somebody else. That's a really simple one. Another fun one is to be able to have them interview their parents real quick or interview a sibling and just say, have a question and say, so for example, maybe it's, um, all right, uh, I want you to quickly text or get out of your seat and go find your parent and ask them, how has, how has Christ strengthened them in their life? You got five minutes, come back and tell us what you found. Super simple. It does take time, but the experience that they're they're having with that is priceless. Um, little things like that can go a long way, and so that's just a really super simple. I know it's nothing really concrete, but it's um, just a couple ideas that may help your Zoom experience. Brothers and sisters, I love this week's material. I really, really love talking about Jesus Christ in seminary. I know that as we study Him, He will strengthen us. You'll feel it in your class and in your Zoom gatherings. But you got to discover ways to make it personal. Please minister with your youth and young adults as much as you can this week. May the Lord bless you. The devil miss you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.